and I'm certainly not trying to get in no baby mama drama. I'm not a complete hater though, that's not a deal breaker. Like, it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? Back with another one. Today we have a first time on this channel actually, and this is called a uh, G's move in silence like lasagna. I've never had a lasagna on this channel. I don't really do a ton of pasta actually, which is, you know, I don't know. I do like pasta, but it doesn't rank in my top evidently so so she's steaming hot piping hot and uh, maybe this uh, little tea that I'm about to spill on my Halloween endeavors with a nanny and how they kind of played out further is also a little bit piping hot steaming hot as well and I'll just educate you guys about that today because some of you know I had a little Halloween fling thing and it moved on a little bit and but you haven't had any updates about it some of you were intrigued to know after I posted the picture of us having a couple's costume a little too soon uh, on my tab but I'll just explain everything okay but uh, we're gonna get to this lasagna now so before we do anything more we must pour iceberg die dog pee back for some action back for some flavor making it savor and we go in. What's our fizz time? Mm, it's looking like a long one today, ladies and gentlemen. But it's fine. Patience is a virtue. And Gary V says it's all about patience in this world. Nothing comes over for free, overnight success, you know? Ain't nothing free in this world. And this is true. I've been very patient. I've been uploading to this channel for many years now. I've taken some breaks here and there. Not not on my own accord, of course. But, hey, such is life. <laughs> Sip to it. A fine Cabernet Azalean. Mouthfeel, tannic, acidic, bricking on the rim of the glass. A light note of leather smoked cherry wood, if you will. So, Carrie Underwood probably drinks it. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's delightful. It's very, very, it's very, very good. Okay, off to the side. Brought some sour cream and some pepperoncinis. Spicy pickled pepperoncinis. I love the way sour cream and pepperoncinis cut through the cheese and the sauce. And of course, my main boo boo thing thing. Put up a picture of us on our uh, soon to be honeymoon on uh, the community tab the other day. And uh, yeah, she's thick. Look at her with two C's. Hit it from the back one time. Actually, don't because that's where it says how she's bad for you. This is how she's good for you. So I've talked about uh, YouTube being stressful in many ways. And let me just tell you, just before we have a bite of this, one of the ways that it is very, very stressful is things like this. Getting a thumbnail for this. Trying to get this out of a pan so that you guys can actually see it. Trying to get an angle where you can actually see it. Me spilling it onto the front of here. There's juices over here that you can't see under the lens. Clean up time later, okay? All right, so the best thing I could do was bust down these walls, okay? so. You could have a view and while we're talking about busting down these walls i'm going to talk about busting down these walls with a halloween nanny okay now i guess this doesn't make sense for me but i guess for you the viewer if this makes the most sense is a bite right in the front I'm trying to carve out a nice chunk Should I have brought a knife? Probably. But I am not as intelligent as I seem, apparently. God damn it. Okay, well, that's the bite that's gonna have to do. She's steaming, she's piping. And I really don't wanna burn my mouth. Cause truth be told, I, just got over a burnt mouth from ramen from the other day, okay? 
Should we do it like that? We shall do it like that. The ultimate first bite, ladies and gents. Okay. Please don't burn me. Please don't burn my mouth. That is for sure a winner bite right there. I love that. This is looking like a good one too. I'm just gonna put the sour cream on this time. We have to preserve our peppers. sauce, the meat sauce. Delicious. This is definitely a grandmama comfort meal. 100%, you know? Now that said about this comfort meal, growing up, my family did have lasagna quite often. Uh, my grandparents, my parents, everybody seemed to be lasagna's, you know, number one fan with the big finger, the foam finger, foam finger fan. Mm. Your your guy here, Black Hoodie, not so much. was a meal I didn't really look forward to super often. I'd eat it and I'd be okay with it, but let's just say I wasn't going back for seconds. I've never been a huge marinara sauce. Like foam finger fan, if that makes any sense again but uh, look even to this day I still get light sauce on my pizza so and that is one thing I'm noticing about this lasagna currently right now is could use more cheese that said in life couldn't everything use more cheese Let's be honest with ourselves. You know I had to take it there. Don't act like you didn't see it coming. You knew it was coming. That's good. I like it on pizza, so why wouldn't I like it on this? Deep in these cuts right now. Deep in these cuts. All right. Let's make Italian grandmothers roll in their grave again. This apparently does have ricotta all through it. I can't really see it, but apparently it's in there. All right, before we move forward with the tail of the nanny tail, um, I had to bring out Bushido Blade because 
I could just tell that it's going to make my life so much easier going forward in this video. And y'all probably way less stressed out at me being like, get, just scoop that, get that bite, scoop that bite. No, not, just rip, rip, the, no, rip the new, get, just, the, you know, you know who you are. I can feel your energy already. Up to this point, you were already stressed out about my bites. Dangerous shit. My grandma would smack me with her knife for eating off my knife. Is that ironic? I don't know. Okay, I'm just getting full crazy. I just, I just want sour cream on this. I've learned that it's just something I need in here. Okay, so a few weeks back, deep in deep in Hallow's Eve. quick recap for those who don't know I went to my friend's Halloween party met a girl Little Red Riding Hood she, we connected at the party went on a wild spontaneous goose chase adventure night resulting in me getting some nanny fanny okay all good times enjoying my life you know throughout the course of the night we were both laying the ground rules that this is a one night deal she's like I got my life going on I'm like I got my life going on this isn't going to be a thing okay cool it's agreed upon so we do our thing for the night I peace out the next day I can tell she's more interested than she's letting on and vice versa. I'm guilty of the same. I was like, you know what? She was actually pretty cool. Very good looking. You know, we had a hot night. Steamy like lasagna. And my face currently because this lasagna is making me sweat everywhere. So bear with that. So, the next Halloween, because this was earlier in the week, true Halloween, the Thursday Halloween of this year, was coming up, and <clears throat> we basically made arrangements to do another Halloween. Because we had started texting. Now, I did play it safe. I didn't text her right away after the first hangout. I waited like three or four days. Led her to believe, basically, that it was a one-night thing. She hadn't texted me at all either. When I texted her, she said she was happy. She was stoked. She, like, really actually did want me to text her, and she was, like, actually kind of sad that I didn't, as, like, sooner. Okay, but y'all know the rules. Like, I'm not out here trying to look too despacito for this girl so I'm just like this is how I played it and she's like okay fair enough blah 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 so I was like so what are you doing for this the actual Halloween and she's like I'm off the next day and stuff like I, I would love to go out again and I didn't have another costume and she's like you should be the wolf and all just goes red again. I'm like, perfect, because that's easy. I can just get it like this wolf mask. It'll be like 30 bucks. 
It's not going to be take me any thought. I'm not really trying to like do the wife up costume, but it just was easy as fuck. I was like, sure, let's do it. So I get the costume and everything, post it, post that pic in my community tab. She also has no idea about my channel, by the way. We hadn't got to that point. I never, I wasn't trying to flex this YouTube thing to her. Sorry, I had to literally get out of a hoodie and just like do like a little quick face wipe because I was smoking off this lasagna. So anyways, we have our another night out. We have another night together, you know what I mean? And uh, stay at her place. She takes, drops me off the next day. And, uh, you know, we're basically like, okay, there's a vibe here. This could be a good, fun, casual thing. Now, what I haven't mentioned yet is she's a child. Um, she's 27. She had her child when she was 21. So, um, obviously, daddy's not around. Well, he's around, but she has him half the time, the kid, and then the dad has him half the time. And I'm certainly not trying to get in no baby mama drama. I, uh, I'm not a complete hater, though. That's not a deal breaker. Like, I'm like, if you want to focus on your life and have your kid and that, and this could just be a fun thing because, like, you're just, you're not looking for that type of thing at all. We could keep this going a little bit, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll just kind of see what happens. I'm just saying that, like, I just don't want this to be, like, too crazy too soon, you know? So, in our car ride, actually, that day, She's getting very hand-holdy and kind of attachy feeling. And I'm like, okay, this already seems a little too much. But whatever, I'll roll with it. Over the course of the next bunch of days, she's hitting me up with good morning, good nights, all the texts in between. Uh, trying to make plans again immediately trying to like meet up for like two hours in the afternoon delight you know what I mean things like this like just very on me every day and I myself was like mm, nope <laughs> I, I said what's up like I'm not playing that game I got my own shit going on. I ain't, you know, I ain't got time for this. Still interested, but I ain't got time for this. So, I leave it like cold for like a few days. Just to get the point across like, yo, chill out, slow down. So after like four days or so of just me being pretty much non-responsive, she texts me saying, oh, okay, I guess I'll take this as a hint that you're not interested. All good. Have a good one kind of thing, you know? To which I finally replied, no, it's not that I'm not interested. It's just that I thought we established what this was. 
I told you I have a life and things I'm pursuing. You are the same. You also have all a bunch of responsibilities that are time consuming. And I was like, I'm definitely still down and interested, but I thought this could move like slower. Like I, I'm not trying to answer texts every day. Like you're my girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like I don't have time to be on this rotating conversation of just kind of nothingness throughout, throughout the days. Like I just, I don't have, it's not, it's not what this is or was supposed to be. Right. I'm like, you could, you could see where I'm coming from. Right. Like, do you, do you get my angle or no? And she's like, well, yeah, I can see it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so like aggressive. I'd, she's like, I didn't really notice I was being aggressive. She's like, I'm just kind of like excited or something, blah, blah, blah. But she's like, yeah, I can totally see what, your angle. And she's like, I'm sorry for coming off that way. And I'm like, cool. So can we actually try to do this like the way that we intended and she's like yeah yeah for sure da, 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 da. so a couple more days go by and then I'm like I reach out to her I'm like so do you want to hit something up on Tuesday like you want to go to a movie grab a couple drinks hit a movie because she had her place to herself like her kid was at her at her baby daddy's place and I was like do you actually like legitimately want to go to like on a date like drinks movie some food go to your house Netflix chill stay over kind of thing and uh, then she was acting all hard like being all like coy and hard to get or like offset standoffish and I'm like oh so what's the deal like oh now you don't want to do this and she's like well you know what you said the other day about me being too aggressive and whatever was kind of rude and blah 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 And immediately I knew this is like all just red flags. This is all bad. And I'm like, well, I still stand by my position. Like we talked about what this was supposed to be. She tried to battle me. Eventually I just like, I kind of won the conversation. I don't want to say won, but like, my side was like she eventually was like okay fine like I get it so like, yeah well I'm down to go hang out to Tuesday so we made a plan to go out Tuesday we we she came and got me we went out for drinks and then during the drinks once again she was just being like moody and depressed and kind of being pissy towards me and I'm like What, what's your deal? Like, are we going to have fun tonight or am I going home? Like, what, what's going on here? Like, I, I don't, this isn't for me. Like, I'm not, I'm just trying to have fun. Like, I thought that th what this was supposed to be, I thought we we're going to take it easy, take it slow, see where things go in like a good, timely manner. Like, not like a jump into some shit real quick. So she had a couple drinks, she starts coming around. Becoming fun. And when she's a few drinks deep, she's like, she's like, fuck the movie. Let's just blow off the movie. She's like, let's just go out. So for me, it's like, I'm like, fair enough. I love having drinks. I'd rather just go out and be social and have drinks anyways. And play pool or whatever, right? Things like that. And uh, basically a night of just chaos ensues. We both get kind of more drunk and drunk and drunk. And we just started like getting at each other's throats. And uh, from there, it just, it just, it just imploded. 
exploded, imploded, whatever you want to call it. It just, it ended. It was over. Next day, we were both, like, mutually just, like, we're not, I'm not into it. It's a no from me. And vice versa for her, so. She clearly wanted something different than I do. And, uh. I'm not apologetic for my position because I, I I said outright from the beginning what it was. We even both said from the beginning that it was just supposed to be a one night stand, anyways. And then some feelings developed because there was actually like a good connection there, and she was fun. Uh, but it's very evident that she wanted something much more more quickly than I did. And yeah, whatever. There's gonna be people that are like, "Oh, you're being a fuck boy." No, nah, I'm not being a fuck boy. I'm looking out for my trajectory as as a man and what I'm trying to do here with my mission and it'd be nice to be able to weave in a female she is here Monday and then you know maybe she's around Thursday and then maybe again Sunday like that type of shit I'm not trying to be texting all the time I'm not trying to be devoting all this attention every single day I'm not trying to hang out five times a week. I was like, I should go on. So that was my whole thing. But hey, it's all good, man. It was fun for the moment. Things don't work out. And that's completely fine. All right. Well, I crushed more of this lasagna than I thought I would. So I kind of hate myself a little bit right now because I wasn't supposed to eat that much. I was supposed to keep it to like a half. I think I went over half, maybe three quarters. Well, not quite. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Very long winded. But uh, until the next one, eat good, live well, and uh, stay true. Peace.